All right, guys. Um, this video today is um once again a very sad video. Um, now relax. It's not anything rock or cartoon related, but the person that we um honor today was a true icon in his own right, but. Not for um, any music, but not for any musical or cartoonish reason. Reasons, excuse me. Um, however, this man, in the eight three years he was with us, did portray one. Excuse me, certain character of a certain book that we all have heard of in our lives and we've um seen both versions of this uh classic tale in their live action movies but today i have the very sad news of reporting that the original willy wonka gene walker wilder however you pronounce gene's last name has died at the tender has died at the age of 83. Um, now, of course, everybody remembers Gene and his fellow cast members for the 1970s classic, Willy Wonka and the Cho Chocolate Factory, which brought um, the classic book. It could have been entitled the same name, but I'm going to go on and say that it brought the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to life, but even if it's if that wasn't the right title, you guys still know what I mean. Um, now obviously, um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory has sort of become a classic by today's standards because Gene betrayed um the character of Willie quite well. It's like one minute he put on this uh, calm and relaxed persona and the next minute he couldn't make you think that he was an insane man that needed to um, seriously be committed to a mental health ward. And of course we um, all know the story of um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, so just to give a um, brief movie review and tribute to Gene, it basically tells the story of this uh, boy named Charlie Bucket, and um, in this version of, of the tale, Charlie's father has unfortunately departed from the, has unfortunately passed away. So it's up to him and his mom to um, basically keep the family going because Charlie's uh, four, two sets of grandparents are obviously very old and stricken at this point. And um, we basically all know what happens after that with the um, Willie sending up the golden tickets to five kids from around the world. But... We learn at the end of the movie that he was testing kids to see who can take care of the uh, Oompa Loompas and the rest of uh, Willie's chocolate factory once he retires. And the reason he chose children is he knows that adults will not treat his chocolate with the same tender love and care that um a child would so ultimately it's Charlie who is chosen at the end of the movie to um basically watch over the factory once uh, Mr. Wonka retires and again today I have the unfortunate news of sharing with everybody that um Gene Wilder or Wagner, however you pronounce Gene's last name, has unfortunately left us due to um, 
the sadly develop the same debilitating disease that will probably sooner rather than later claim the life of country superstar Glenn Campbell as well. That's right. Gene died of complications from Alzheimer's. And as I've briefly touched on before concerning Glenn's situation, unfortunately, guys, in this day and age, the survival rate for Alzheimer's is zero. There are, there is no survivors. Documented. So, it's with this uh, emotional tribute here today that I say, unfortunately, there's an empty place in the chocolate factory tonight. And the Oompa Loompas have at last lost their master. And as far as I'm concerned, the world has lost Julie, a man that really only had that one starring role that he was really noted for, but again, it's a role that Gene portrayed quite well. And I feel that this is, that this loss is, it's not necessarily as big of a thing. It's not like a rock star dying, but in a way it kind of is because people my age in their early 20s, I'm actually 20 on the dot, okay? So people my age, people 18, 19, 20, even people that are 10 and 11 years old, and even still further up, right until the modern day, have grown up in a world where Gene, Gene was still present in the world. Although I've been learning that he died of Alzheimer's, I'm sure he wasn't very present in the world laying up until today. But it's just the idea that now the world will go on without Willy Wonka being in it. But guys, today, um, I think we should all take a moment to, um, what? Watch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Not as a set, not a, not so much as a memorial to Gene, but to celebrate the, the legacy and all the joy he brought to us along with the rest of the cast in Willy, in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, like I was saying before, I believe that this is um, going to ge generate the same amount of having an empty feeling as when um, Fred Rogers died uh, in 2003. Because even though Fred and Gene respectively had a much briefer battle with their illnesses than the other, Fred died um, two months or maybe even a month and a half. And no, actually, I think it was a year after learning he had stomach cancer. And obviously, Alzheimer's is a progressive disease, which means that Gene was basically robbed of all of his functions and his body basically gave out. So, again, guys, Gene... What, Wilder Walker, again, however you pronounce Gene's last name, has died at the age of 83. And I have to say, Gene, Willie, the Chocolate Factory, and all the children of the world will miss you. But if you can still hear this, we, 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 let's all imagine him taking taking us all on the ride down the chocolate river and yelling at Augustus not to touch the chocolate one more time as he rides into the candy cane sunset. So again, guys, Gene Walker, or however you pronounce um, Gene's last name, the man that played Willy Wonka has died from Alzheimer's 
at the age of 83. And as I've stated previously, I feel that this is a very lonely night to visit a chocolate factory. So, to Gene, and more importantly to the character he brought to life in Willy Wonka, all I can say, dear friend, is rest in peace and the children of the world and the Oompa Loompas will miss you. Rest in peace, Willy Wonka. Catch you guys later.